welcome to today's analysis so we'll start with aud pair so in aud pair going with aud chf the weekly time frame the market is a bearish pattern the market has shown a bearish signal at the 22 supporting area and uh, so we'll look for sell trade on daily basis wow after it created a simple range area it put a big base engulfing very scandal okay and if i go to our four wow very good and yesterday i missed this trade because i didn't have rest of money so now it is showing me that market will go up because it is at a range a zone but but seeing the trend from weekly daily hour four at hour four it is making an hammer but always what is our rule what is our first rule of trade are you following the trend so it is at the area where it can break the resistance and uh, yesterday i would have taken this range area because this range entry would have supported my uh, trend correct yeah but today but today this uh, taking bull uh, buy signal will maybe a mistake for me so yesterday my range was let me go back to the yesterday range i just moved the candle down my yesterday range one this one so what i'm expecting right now is like my will go come at this level and will go down so let me write it down for aud chf today also aud chf i will look for sell signal 50 EMA. Why? Break, breaking of the zone. So I'm expecting it to break the zone and and I will take the sell signal. As you can see here, if I see this one, you can see this uh, uh, doji candle, this is, which is in this season that this is a hammer. But I will not look at this one. This should be at my range. Yeah, it is at my range at this one. Let me draw one more range, but uh, it will not be that much effective for me to discuss about this one. Oh, it is so blue. Let me color code it a little. Midnight blue. Why midnight blue? Let's take it. Let's make it today different color. A little. Uh, lavender oh it was already lavender sorry uh, i'm taking a little time i'm playing with the game so bear with me uh yeah let's make it green pale green okay so this is at my range and i can see that it will it can go up but no i will not take this trend and not take this entry because i want to follow the trend and it is about to break the zone i can take the weekly trade from here putting the stop loss at this level but it will a very 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 big amount capital this will be around 1500 pips which will be around my uh, 150 dollar approx if i say that and again one is to one ratio 15 to 15. one is to one ratio i don't want to do that and uh, so that's it i look for low down trade coming to every cad ha 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 weekly Oh, it's it is ah uh -huh. wow wow. Let me it is at a support area, and uh, but I can't say double bottom for double bottom to be valid. It should be below the first bottom should be below thirty level. Was deterring channel. He will explain you better than me. And the second will be above, but I can see the diversion here and the label is correct but diversion is here so that can be a chance for weekly but and it shows a big hammer then uh 
another hammer, then bullish candle on a weekly basis, like market is going up, 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 coming to hour four. So hour four, it is still in a range. It's an uptrend now. The market is going uptrend, but it has taken a halt at this level. So what can I do? I don't know what can I do. So let me draw one shape just for my uh, mental peace purpose. So this is the top range which are being supported right now. Okay, and uh, insert shape rectangle and this is the second one which has been so the market has come to more small range so the person who wants to trade at 15 time frame they can support uh, work on this range but for me nothing to see here comment every jpy quickly nothing i can't make anything about of it daily no yeah nothing our four it is uh, something i would not like to work on right now our one it is not trend but some something doesn't make me feel good about this one so even if i had to take trade in this chart so seeing let me control i've never not taken any trade in this chart since i started this recording i think so first the bottom tweezer i would have taken this one trade because in uptrend second i have taken the trade at this level this uh after this base harami and this small uh dozy i have taken second trade here then after no i'm not taking the trade now leave it aud and jd yep 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 it is showing a little much promise right now. AUD and JD going from weekly. Wow, what a perfect chart which I never want to see. But it is good. The more it is it within a range, the more I'm going to make money. So it's very good for the trader. Community day misses. Okay, nice, nice, nice. I can see something. What I'm seeing here, I can see some types of uh, range, not too much, but some range here. Should I make the shape? Let's make a shape. Sometimes people tend to make a fake shape because they are stuck, they want to see something in the market. So they make some fake support resistance, some fake trade line. People try to get a uh, dream, something which is not actual there. And maybe I am doing the same, but, 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 guys, I think I'm not doing that one right now. So what I am not doing right now, I am not making any dream right now. So if I come to our four, it, you can see diversion here. RSI is going up while the market was going down and here it is being stable right now. But this is taking the same area of area. So in our one, I would have taken this one. I can see this blue dot here. There's one more table here. I think you can see or not. I don't know. There was one. There's one more table here inside. I don't know how to. Yeah, control. It. Let me show you. Let me color this another thing. Something cool. So you can see. So I would have taken this trade and uh, let me orange. It's not appearing here. Let's make it please appear. Okay. <laughs> so this is one indicator reverse indicator which I'm using. And I'm not trading based on this ELB reverse indicator, but yeah, I wanted to remove this one at some point of time, but uh, while preparing chart and using the final after a lot of analysis, when I decided final, I wanted to remove this blue one, but forgot to remove. So it is still here. So I would have taken a trade at this one yesterday, but I didn't took. That was okay, good, not a big deal. But now it is double, triple bottom, and it is expecting to go up. And obviously it will go up. I know that, but I will see one uh, top coming and coming down, and going up. 
I'll, I'll look for some rejection here and again enter that AUD and ZD. AUD and ZD by I am not getting anything right now. Break out of zone and the test. Because here the bullish candle, you can see this bullish candle, it has crossed all three. So it's a very strong buying pressure. Here also very strong buying pressure, but it didn't last long. It again took uh, resistance at this level. Now coming to AUD and USD. Weekly. It is not within the bottom right now, double bottom. It will form a double bottom. And from there, it will again go from up market. This color doesn't look good here. I will wait for it to come, the candle to close inside this and take a buy, uh, bullish pattern. After bullish pattern, I will wait for second one more bullish candle to appear. So I will take two bullish candle to uh, go for long and then I'll go on daily time frame. In daily time frame, it is showing a sales signal here. Wow, it is a sales signal, but the uh, rejection is too much here. In hour four, in hour one, I what I'm seeing in hour one, there's a bullish engulfing here. Will I, will, do I want to take the trade? Do I? I think, don't think so. Because it is in a range, I think, here. I'm not comfortable about this one there. It has so many rejection. In yesterday London session, it would have appeared to be a good entry point for one is to one this reward ratio. But right now, it doesn't appear any right moment for entry because it is again within small range, which has been created here. Okay, so even though it break uh, broke out, but it's in a small range, so I don't have anything in Avery. Now go, going to gold. In gold, it broke the zone, and uh, it's going up. Weekly, I can see, yup, 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 the market is going up. In daily, oof. Yesterday market moved a lot. Good, 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 so on, so on. So after doji, you can see bullish doji and again bullish candle. It means market will again go up in daily time frame. In hourly time frame, in our time frame, uh, uh, will I take the risk here? Will I? Okay, I didn't take this signal by signal. I didn't took this by signal. So I can see that gold, let me go a little back. I can see that gold is respecting 20 EMA. It is not going anywhere to 50 EMA. It is more, mostly support, uh, respecting 20 EMA. Okay, 21 or 20 EMA, whatever you want to say. <clears throat> so yesterday, this would have been my proper entry point after this engulfing but let me do control by yeah it was in the middle of the day cool 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 i'm not i have didn't do anything so it was a 400 to be up 800 good 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 amount of profit no issue today no signal nothing to see the range was here now next range zone is this one and now the second trading option will be moving average because zone is not appearing too much right now. Coming to CAD, JPY, weekly time frame. Wow. 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 I don't want to take this one anymore. And let this one because this zone is not being sense to me anywhere. Weekly, weekly zone. Daily. It is going up. Hour four. Going up with lots of noise again. Nothing to see here. The only trade would have been this one, this uh, bottom tweezer on hourly basis and the profit. And nothing to do with the 
zone support resistance here only the 50 EMA. Yet trend is obvious and 50 EMA. Now here it has broke the zone. Nice, nice, nice. From how long are we waiting for this zone to break? Oh, this is bullish signal. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Day, hour four. So I think from two, three days, I'm waiting for this to break down. So it has break, um, broke down, but uh, it has broke down the zone. So my best entry point would have been this hammer, which was in the middle of the uh, day yesterday. Today, my entry point will be if it comes back to 21 or 50 EMA. And market will always come back. It doesn't go in a single stating point. It has to come back. Oh, and what is CAD CHF? See, let's read CAD CHF. It also saying sell at will wait for uh, breaking of the zone. See, same things is happening both the pair AOD. So here CHF is what con so we have to read between two market most of the time. And when two markets say the same thing that is a very high high probability okay so we'll wait for it to come back to the 50 or foot uh, 21 ema and we will close so let me go to a udch what is what it was showing a udch yep 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 so it was here only yeah the same thing coming back to CA, CHF, JPY, weekly time, oh, not I don't monthly, in weekly time frame, it showed one hammer, means the market is still, buyers are still in control and it is going to go up. This week, um, so last week was a hammer, this week is going up. So this week we didn't took any trade. Okay. So because any support resistance area which I missed here, it was uh, trading a very high level at uh, over the price. So I didn't took any trade here. And our four, no. It was basically trading over the price. So I didn't took any trade and I'm not going to look into this right now again. Let's refer from this one. It's better to know when not to enter the trade than when to enter the trade. So NJDCAD. So what are we seeing here? Weekly. It was going up from three days yesterday. It, last week it made a hammer candle again. This week it's going bullish in day trade. I am going to move this diagram at this level. This is the second support area, which I can see, which will be more uh, thrilling to watch. And uh, if I come somewhat here, this one could be the, so in daily yesterday, it formed a top tweezer. Can I see top tweezer? So what am I doing for top tweezer? Almost. Nay, no, it should cover full. Full. Previous candle, but it is not covering the full previous candle. In our four, I can see it was. Uh, some of the area where it should be. Is a range which is coming right now. Pro. Pro. What can I say right now? What I am seeing here, I am seeing like that. Ki, let me make one line right now. See, the market support fell down, coming up, fell down, got got up, come down, again come down, baby come down, come down, come down, come down, come down. So one second, in hour four, it's it's an uptrend market in hour four. Let a time frame. It's an uptrend market in daily time frame. Hour four. It's an 
of train market hour one. I can't see if the downtrend if it's still an uptrend. Okay, I will make one note here. Understanding the market. Four H day weekly shows uptrend. Which what's the pair? N J T C A D. One one hour. Source tends to fall. So I will see tomorrow if it goes up or come down. Is very important. NJDCAD because I have a feeling like it will fall down in our four in day one it is showing down at uh, uh, top tweezer in our four it is forming some range area and I don't know it's a, my gut feeling that market will go down, but I don't want to trade. So, and there is no sign of diversion here. So, let's ignore it. Now, coming to Euro NJT CHF weekly. Yep, market is downtrend. So, Last week it formed indecision. This week it is forming a downtrend. I'm trying to form the very scandal. Wow, wow. It formed a day in day trade. They yesterday showed a big bullish and it was good. It shows the bullish at the resistance level and our one. So, what I think. Uh, taking support and it's a downtrend good at a support area very good now in a range good I didn't trade the range no big deal no biggies okay so in a range again so should I take the trade no if it comes back to 50 EMA I will take a sell trade and put the profit around this within a range. Okay, NJDC is just let me write it. Oh, see, NJDC HF. Uh, but the comment will have a, diff a little different. I don't know if I will get any trade today because I. Mm. Stands at 50 EMA and TP at so uh, I will take uh, resistance at 50 EMA. 50 will take the sell trade and book the profit within the range. I will not go for outstanding below beyond that. So uh, what I do, I usually see the market in the morning. And take the trend which is available at that time and all day I don't see the market and because I want to be a little relaxed life a normal life here I can see something let me come back on weekly time frame a big hammer appeared last week this week a bullish is going on daily wow wow weekly it's an uptrend hour four so in hour four my uh, insert say the zone will be of hour four will be at this candle okay in weekly what i'm seeing right now weekly zone i will ignore that one right now and if i come to hour one what i'm seeing here
I am seeing the reversal here actually. There is a diversion. You can see the diversion is here and formed a double top yesterday. Insert, save, rectangle one more. It formed a. If you are feeling confused and sad about this much of this line and all, I am sorry, but this is what it takes to be a trader. So last time I can see here when it was coming from top and going down, it didn't make double top. It came down, it took some area and it came down from this level. So at this level, it started coming down. So I'm not going to take the buy signal even if it is showing me up here. Good uh, morning star with hammer and all. But last time at this level only, it tried to come up but it didn't go up. It just came down. So it's most probably the market will break again. So I will look for a good sales signal here and come down. And it has already formed a diversion. So and if I do that, so my next exit point will be around this this area of resistance. So and JDJPY sell. I'm not getting anything and. 